Thank you. 603 right now in just a few hours. Jury selection will begin in the case against Aiden Fucci, accused of stabbing 13 year old Tristan Bailey. Case, of course, made national headlines. And then within the county itself, St. John's, folks outraged clearly at what happened there on that Mother's Day. Now they have to find an impartial jury within the county where this all happened. It's been two years now, mm -hmm. a long time coming. On your side, Renati Gregorio joins us live from outside the St. John's County Courthouse where she will be covering this trial from start to finish. Good morning, Renata. Good morning. Yes, we are expecting a packed courtroom. We've seen a lot during previous court proceedings of people wearing aqua, friends and family of Tristan Bailey, wearing that in support of Tristan, her favorite color. So we're expecting many of them. There's limited space inside and there's a lot of interest in this case, but jury selection begins this morning. Before we get into that, let's take a look back over the past nearly two years. I want them to remember her as the sunshine. This is how I remember her. The little purple glasses walking in the gym. It was Mother's Day 2021. This was an exhausting search by the neighborhood, by the St. John's County Sheriff's Office. 13-year-old cheerleader Tristan Bailey went missing from her home in the Durban Crossing neighborhood of St. John's County. Surveillance video shows who investigators believe are Bailey and a boy walking through the neighborhood after 1 a.m. Bailey never returned home. It makes me really sad that the last time I saw her was at cheer. Bailey's body was found later that day in a wooded area of the neighborhood near a pond. Her 14 year old classmate Aiden Fucci charged with her murder the next day. The autopsy showed Bailey had been stabbed 114 times. Investigators say they found clothes in Fucci's home matching the person's clothes in the surveillance video, and there was blood on them. His mother, Crystal Smith, is accused of washing blood out of his jeans and charged with tampering with evidence. She's pleaded not guilty. Fucci pleaded not guilty to first degree murder. Appropriate to charge uh, the defendant as an adult. Now nearly two years after Bailey's death, the trial of her accused killer begins. It will come to an end, but what will not? The memory of Tristan Bailey, daughter, friend, and cheerleader for her community. Always and forever, my cheerleader and my sweet baby girl. Even up until last week, new information has been coming out regarding Fucci. In the next half hour, we're going to listen to some parts of interviews between investigators and those investigators say were Fucci's friends. Live in St. John's County, you're in Gregorio, First Coast News on your side.